Why do you struggle with taking a stand for or against Darwinism? It's very odd as it's not trivial matter for the Orthodox. Well, Gabriel, when you say it's not a trivial matter for the Orthodox, I'm not sure who you're talking about. Uh, I'm sure it's not a trivial matter for some Orthodox, and I'm sure it's a trivial matter for, <laughs> for some Orthodox. For this Orthodox, I find it to be a trivial matter. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it is a useful, uh, I don't feel like it's a useful place to fight. Uh, you know, I, I, I just don't, I just don't see, I think the danger of believing in scientism as being the first manner in which reality is understood is far more dangerous than Darwin specifically. Uh, and my tendency to, let's say, ignore Darwin has to do with my tendency to understand our experience in the world as being more primordial than a technical description of how how animals uh, reproduce or how their genes, you know. So, and I think that, I think that, I don't even understand, like take a stand against Darwin. I don't understand. It's like a lot of the stuff that Darwin described is, is perfectly fine in the sense of the sense of uh, of how of how selection happens and how different mates select different mates and how it encourages it encourages different aspects of different animals. Like for my goodness sake, like people have been doing it to dogs for ten thousand years. That's why we have all these different these different species of dogs because the process that he describes is was 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 pretty good in terms of in terms of understanding how this happens. Now. Whether or not Darwin thinks that he can create a narrative out of that, I mean, I don't, I don't attach myself to that narrative at all. Like that story is, I find, is not useful in terms of our existence. I find that the story in the Bible, the way that they describe this, this coming into consciousness, and then you know, this, this, this relationship between language, word, and how the world comes about through language and speaking the world into being, how, uh, you know, how a certain form of consciousness, the opening of the eyes and the seeing of the two opposites of good and evil will lead to fragmentation and to a fall. Like to me, that is far more useful to living in the world than anything Darwin could ever have said. To me, Darwin is like a little footnote in reality. And so I don't feel like I need to take a stand against Darwinism any more than, to me, it's just not important. Um, so I'm sorry, I mean, whatever, like I, you know, Anyways, that's all I can say, guys. Like, I just, I just don't find it. I just don't find it that important. I don't find that that's where my my battle needs to be. Um, and I find creationists silly. Like the 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 the, the kind of science, the, the the type of creationist that has fully taken the scientism pill and is trying to to force feed that pill into the book of Genesis. I find, I find that far more disgusting and far more unbearable than anything that Darwin said, because at least Darwin wasn't talking about the Bible. At least Darwin wasn't, wasn't trying to get us to think that th those beautiful, amazing stories that we have in Genesis were limited to some technical, you know, uh, some technical scientific description of the world. Sorry, guys. Something I struggle with understanding is what belief actually entails. It seems very limited to equate it to, I know something exists. Scripture indicates, without looking closer at the Greek, it means something closer to leaning on or perhaps holding near. Does this relate to the heart or center? Like you are bringing or remembering who Christ is in your inner secret place. 
use it in an interesting way when talking about evolution. Did it happen? Sure. Do I believe in it? No, I don't believe in it. What's the Peugeot in? Oh my goodness, Peugeotian. You heard it here first, he says. What's the Peugeotian way of relating to this word? Uh, yeah, we need to find a better Peugeotian. That's not good. We need to find a better way. Uh, all right, so I think that the best way to understand uh, belief is trust. Uh, you know, in, in the idea of faith. I think I think faith is probably the best way when we talk about belief in a, in a Christian manner and faith. And faith is trust, you know. And so what it is, it's an, it's an attachment to something, but it's an attachment to something that you do with your whole being, you know. It's like, if you ask me, do I think, you know, do I think that this bridge is going to hold me when I walk out on it? You know, yes, but do, will I do it? If I do it, it's because I trust. I trust that the bridge is going to hold on. That's very different. So trust is more is more is closer to your being, um, and it also becomes a a uh, a motivation for action. Faith in, inevitably brings about works because faith is trust, and it is and so it 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 exists in the world of action. It doesn't. It exists, obviously, in, in the mental world as well, but it also exists in the world of action. It's not just belief in uh, in an abstract manner, and so, <clears throat> and so I think that I think that that's the best way to uh, to understand it. And and like Jacob suggested, trust is related to the things that I've been talking about. This notion of um, memory and attention, the idea of the manners in which we are connected to the heart, to the center, to the manner in which we're connected to Christ. And so the, the uh, you know, trust is, if you, you know, if you trust something that you'll act in, you'll act in that, in that direction, you will use it as a basis for what you act. And so you're totally right. When I said that, when I talked about this notion of evolution, did it happen? Sure, do I believe in it? No, that's exactly what I was referring to. It was saying that I, it doesn't bother me. I, I'm not bothered by the ideas that evolution, um, that evolution talk about, you know, but, but I don't, I don't, it's not a, it's not that by which I base my life on. It's not, not that on which I, it's not that by which I, I believe or, or I don't act. I never act in terms of, of, of evolution, you know, the categories by which that inform my actions are are categories of uh, of uh, of love, of communion, of of the of their human, you know, their human. Uh, how can I say this? Yeah, they're, they're they're phenomenological more than just thought. So, all right. Hope that answers your question, Jacob.